A month or so ago, I did a video comparing three types of IRAs, individual retirement accounts. A Roth, a traditional, and a 2A IRA. Now, a friend of mine said, and I believe he had a good point, he said it took too long to get to the 2A IRA. It took too long to get to the explanation, and that was what was in the title. You know, something about a 2A IRA. And I think he had a good point, but... Uh, you know, it was meant to be a serious comparison, not just some type of comical thing, but a serious comparison between the three different IRAs. Now, I'm not sure there are any original ideas anymore, but as far as I know, I'm the only person that's ever used the term 2A IRA or Second Amendment IRA. But I think it's a movement that, uh, you know, could benefit everyone. What is a 2A IRA? Well, Second Amendment IRA. It's where you buy a weapon for the purpose of reselling once you hit retirement. And there are a lot of advantages and one big, a couple of disadvantages, one of them very big. So let's go over those. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of opening a 2A IRA uh, for your retirement? Well, for one, there is no maximum contribution. With a traditional or a Roth IRA, you're limited to, I think, $5,900 a year. If you're in your 50s, like I am, then you get to contribute a little bit more. I think about $6,500. I don't know exactly, but somewhere around there. But you can also sell when you want. With a traditional and a Roth IRA, you can only you can not sell until you're 59 and a half under most circumstances without paying a penalty. With a 2A IRA, you can buy when you're 25 and sell when you're 26 if you want, or the next day if you want, without incurring a penalty, except for the losses you may incur by selling it for less than you buy it for, of course. Uh, you can buy when you want. There's no limits on when you buy. In most states, there's no limits on how much you buy, as far as I know, and I don't know every gun law. As far as I know, in Arkansas, I could buy 100 weapons this year if I wanted to, if I had the money to do so, you know, buy them whenever I want to buy them. There's no limit there. It's also tangible. A lot of people like the idea you can touch it, you can hold it, you can point to it. That doesn't mean as much to me as it does to most people, but I do like the idea that my 2A IRA weapon, uh, I can point to it and say, hey, look what I got. You know, let people hold it, let people look at it. You know, I do like that, but to me, growth means so much more than something tangible. Uh, here's a big disadvantage. If you can read my chicken scratch. It's like a Christmas story around here. A neighbor has a bunch of dogs and he lets them out. It's just like that scene from a Christmas story. I don't know if it's coming up on the audio or not very well, but they're going nuts over there. Anyway, unknown rules is a big disadvantage for the uh, stupid dogs. Unknown rules is a big disadvantage for, um, you know what? They done made me lose my train of thought, which is not hard, because I'm not that smart. But here we go. Unknown rules is a huge disadvantage for the 2A IRA. You never know what kind of rule some ignorant, goofy, anti-gun legislation that a politician is going to impose in the future. Private, uh, private sales will probably be illegal someday in all 50 states. Hopefully the NRA and us as individuals can keep the politicians at bay. Uh, I know in Illinois, I have a relative that lives in Illinois, he says private gun sales are very difficult there. Here, you can, you can sell easy to anybody you want to for now. But with a Roth and a traditional IRA, you know what the future holds probably. You know what the rules are probably going to be. You have a good idea. With gun laws, you have no idea. You don't know who's going to be in power. You don't know who's going to be uh, passing the their will, you know, forcing their will onto the American people. You don't know if they're going to be uh, upholding the Constitution or shredding the Constitution. You have no idea. You know, so that's a huge, huge, huge disadvantage. Uh, there's much less return. I could have taken the money I bought for that weapon, which after tax is about $380, $390, and I believe I can double anything I invest. I believe I can double it every seven years on average. Uh, it's about 14 years until my wife retires. That's the big target date right there, the one I keep looking at, the one I've made an Excel, Excel file for to track that date and know how far we are from that date and know how we're doing 
and if we're going to have the money to pay the house off, get out of debt, and live a pretty decent lifestyle in retirement. Uh, but 14 years. If I invested that, uh, let's, call it, let's call it 400 bucks. It was real close to it after tax. If I invested that, then in 14 years, it would be worth about $1,600 if I had invested it in the average stock or average fund. There's no way There's no way my 2A IRA weapon is going to be worth $1,600. Absolutely no chance. You know, I'm hoping for $1,000. But I like it. It's something to look at, and I don't regret buying it. But you do get much less return. And it's uh, an advantage is easy and fast access to money in an emergency. A, two, a, a weapon in the house, I won't say it's as good as a savings account, um, but it's almost as good. I mean, you, you can sell them all day long. Weapons in the house are almost as good as cash in the house. They re Most weapons retain most of their value. And uh, if you need money, you can sell them. I mean, if my wife called me today and said, we've got to have some money, and it's got to be in the next hour, and we had no other money to turn to, no other way of getting it, I could take all three of these to the pawn shop, and I, within 30 minutes, I'd have some money. You know, I wouldn't want to do that. And if I had a few days, I could sell them to individuals, so long as I don't go to Illinois. Anyway... I got some money right here. I could get access to really, really fast. And all three of these have retained a good portion of their value. Unlike a car where, you know, you can sell them for half of what you gave for it. No, no, no. No, I could sell them for probably 80% on average of what I gave for them. You know, so, so that's good. You got fast access to cash. So, here is my one and only weapon in my 2A IRA. Here it is right here. And, you know... As far as uh, allocation, as far as diversification, I don't want to say the exact percentage, but I'm going to tell you that this is a very low, very low single digit percentage of my portfolio, my 2A IRA. And that's the way I'd have it if I were you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a whole lot of my retirement invested into it just because of the low return. But this is a beautiful weapon. Ruger 1022. You know, the best 22 ever made in history, in my opinion. Um, the first of a series. I don't know how many are going to be in the series, but this is the Gator Edition. And I really like the other side. Beautiful weapon. I hope it's not too dark in here for you to see. This gun will never be shot. I've never owned a gun before that I've bought for the intention of never shooting. I always say, if you can't shoot it, why well, have it? <clears throat> well, I wanted it. And uh, it will go up in value. I'm just not sure how much. I'm hoping it doubles in, in 14 years, which it very well might. But in the meantime, I can look at it, I can hold it, and go like, wow, boy, that looks sharp. Let people look at it, and, and I don't regret buying it one bit. Even though it's, it's not going to be as good return on my investment as a real, as it would have been if I put it in my uh, Roth IRA. But, you know, I like it. And I've also got the number three one in the edition, in the series. What I call the Razorback Edition. It's actually Wild Hog. But come on, that's a Razorback. And me living in Arkansas, I had to have this. Now this one I shoot. And this is not part of the 2A IRA because its intention is not to be resold. Even though I, I may sell it someday, who knows. But that's not its intention. This one was bought to be sold. After retirement. So, there you go. Now, I very much think that people ought to get a traditional or a Roth IRA before a 2A, unless you just like guns, in which case, that's awesome. I know somebody that knows somebody that's got a couple hundred guns that he's collected his whole life, and he says he's going to sell them as he needs the money when he uh, retires. He don't know it, but he's got a 2A IRA. So, there you go. I say invest in both a 2A IRA, invest in a Roth IRA, Maybe traditional for a very small percentage of you, but most of you, I think um, my advice would be a, a Roth IRA. That way you don't have to pay taxes on your growth. And uh, especially if you're young. You young people, man, y'all can't imagine how important it is to start early, invest, save till it hurts. You know, drive a, my advice if you want it, or you, you know, if you ask me, Instead of buying a $30,000 new car, maybe buy a $20,000, $18,000 very, very good used one. And over time, uh, take that $12,000 and put it into a Roth IRA. 
you know, you get a car financed for six years anymore. Why you pay it off? Put two thousand dollars a year into your Roth IRA. Uh, so you'll have a, a car plus twelve thousand dollars in that six years that's growing tax free. Tax free. And you can probably double it every seven years. Uh, so let's say you have twelve thousand dollars when you're twenty five. Just that part of the investment, nothing else. When you're thirty two, it'd be twenty four thousand. Uh, when you're thirty nine, forty eight thousand. Forty six 96,000. Do you see where this is going? Allegedly, Einstein said the greatest mathematical formula of all time is compound interest. You young people have no idea how much money you could have. If you start early, stick to it, don't touch it, show some discipline, and uh, unless the market completely collapses, then you're going to be sitting pretty when you're an old fart like me. When you're 62, 63, 64, wanting to retire, you're gonna be, you're gonna, people are gonna be jealous. People are gonna be jealous uh, because they didn't do it. But anyway, even if you're uh, in your uh, 40s, which is about mid 40s, which is about the time I started saving for retirement, it's not too late. You know, it wasn't too late for me to have mm, a decent retirement. You know, good enough. So there you go. Invest till it hurts. Save till it hurts. Get your 2A IRA, Roth IRA. And you will not be sorry. Nobody ever said, gee, I wish I would have waited until I was older to start saving for my retirement. Nobody's ever said that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, I forgot something. Hang on. Here's something I forgot to mention. I would love to have this weapon right here. It's $1,599 on gun brokers. And it's number 16. It's a Lincoln Commemorative Edition rifle, number 16. Now... If you don't know your history, then of course that's significant because he was the 16th president. I'd rather have this one than the number one myself. Is it worth $1,599? I have no idea. I have no idea what it's worth. I have no idea what um, it'd be worth in the future. Considering it's been for sale on gun brokers for at least a couple months, then it's probably overpriced. So if I had $1,599 to invest right now, would I buy it? No, 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 no way, no way. Uh, because I think I could double it every seven years by investing it in a, uh, put it in my Roth IRA. If I could, I've got 14 years till my wife is 62. That's the important date. $1,600 invested in that, if I could double it every seven years, which I think I could, that'd be $6,400. If I were to buy this weapon, I don't know, it'd even be worth $1,600 in 14 years. There's no way it'd be worth 6400 Well, okay, I can't say no way because I have no idea. I doubt it'd be worth $6,400. I doubt it'd be worth $3,000. i am not sure it'd be worth 2000 You know, but who knows? So, no, I wouldn't buy it if I had the money. I just think it's a beautiful weapon. And it, I'd love to have it in my 2A IRA if it were cheaper. If I could, if this, if I could buy this weapon for 1000 bucks, I'd be all over it. I'd be wanting it bad. But anyway... Uh, that's, I want to show that. So, you know, beautiful weapon. Hey, y'all have a great day. Invest in your 2A IRA. Be sure you do that. And your traditional or your Roth. I prefer a Roth for almost everybody. Unless you're really close to 59 and a half, I'd say get a Roth. Great day. Thanks for watching. See you later.